Hey everyone, welcome back to Becky's Garden. Today we're in my garage again. Um, I am in the process of actually selling this sewing machine um, because I am downsizing and I am decluttering my home and I already have another sewing machine that does embroidering as well. Um, I will not be um, doing the embroidery or demoing the embroidery on this on this um, foff because after I had my machine cleaned last, I have actually not used the embroider unit because I was only strictly using this machine for just sewing, okay? Um, and then I was using my other machine just for embroidery. But after we moved into a smaller house, I decided that I don't need extra machines. And um, at some point, I will just get myself a new foth because I have one that I've been eyeballing for some time now. And um, it is pretty, it's pretty cool. It's a pretty cool sewing machine too, but it doesn't do the embroidery because I am getting to the point in my life where I feel... I don't really need all the extra embroidery work and I find that I just use the sewing part so I'm gonna be downgrading and decluttering I may even get rid of my other embroider machine too but I have to take baby steps in decluttering and downsizing because I had become a hoarder a little bit and it's time to start letting go of the excess stuff just for my own health and my own well-being but anyways uh, that's kind of off track, but this video actually is going to be me showing you how to um, thread the machine and then we're going to do uh, a straight stitch and show you how you use the foot pedal. And um, like I said, I'm in my garage. I've got my laundry going in the background. I've got my dog snoring over here in my chair. He's a pug, so he's going to he might make some snorty sounds. Sometimes my kids might come in. Um, so anyways, and I've been cleaning and going through stuff, getting ready for a yard sale and decluttering. And so my floor is not completely swept, completely clean. So if you see any little bits of dirt or something, don't worry. I'll get to it. I'll clean it up. You know what? There are more important things in life than worrying about all those little things, people. So anyways, I will get to it. But right now is not the time. I'm just trying to get through this. So now that I've spent about two minutes rambling, um, let's get to the threading. So right here, my last video cut off because I ran out of space on my phone to do the threading part. So I just edited my film. I'm editing now, people. Woohoo! Anyhow, <laughs> I downloaded an app on my phone and I did a little bit of splicing and I cut out some of the part that cut off. Anyways, I'm going to try to get through this so this one doesn't happen as well. So, we've got our thread here, and we're going to come across, and I'm going to pan over here. Don't mind the mess. Like I said, I'm going through stuff, people, and I've got my yarn on my table because I was sorting and um, detangling. All right, so I'm going to make sure I've got my camera in the right spot. So, there's a little bit of mess on the table. Please don't mind that. Um, it's just some beautiful yarn and some wires from cords and things. <laughs> And a dish towel apparently <laughs> that I have folded <laughs> but yeah this is my laundry room I fold and I craft on this table so all right I'm trying to get there we go perfect Woo! all right <laughs> applause everybody applause all right so here's our thread and we're gonna go through here then we're gonna thread our machine all right I like to hold the thread like this when I do this section here oh okay now it's been I'm doing it at a weird angle. Okay, everybody? All right. So now I'm going to reposition myself here, and I'm going to actually move my clamp over so that you can see this other part, and I'm going to angle down. So, all right, move my chair back so I don't trip. <laughs> all right, so now we're going to go down, and I'm going to use my other hand to hold the camera so you can see. And you're going to go down, and then you're going to go back up. You're going to come up here to the top, and there's your needle bar um, right here. And so you're going to go through here and around. And then you're going to go right back down through this crevice here that you had just gone up. And now I'm going to scooch the, um, the camera down, and I'm going to sit on my chair now. All right. I found some paintbrushes. That's what you hear. <laughs> I'll put them in the monkey planter holder. All right. 
I'm going to move my foot pedal out. Just bear with me. I'm not a pro, guys. <laughs> Just a real person here. All right. So now I'm going to scooch this down. And my um, phone is on a, um, like, a bendable, like, wire. Okay. And so I got to try to get it positioned just so right, just right so you can see. So we've gone down through those parts. Now we're going to do the threading of the needle part. All right. All right. I'm trying to angle this. Ah, perfect. Okay, great. So we're going to come down here and you see right here, there's this spot right here and this spot right here. This is where your thread's going to go through. And what you're going to do is I like to hold it like this and put it right behind this little piece, this little metal piece. Let's see if you can see that. That little metal piece right there that kind of sticks out, you're gonna go behind that, okay? And then it's gonna go right into, oops, sorry. It's gonna go right in into this little place right here, this little tunnel that's right here. And you have it on both sides. This is if you're gonna use a twin needle. So you can do two threads and there is actually um, a thread thing at the top, but let's finish um, doing the um, threadle. The, the threadle. <laughs> let's go ahead and finish threading the needle. <laughs> I, just com <laughs> I just combined a bunch of words. Now, it's kind of hard for me to, um, to do this. I like to hold my thread like this when I'm threading the needle because it makes it easier. And you're going to take the this right here, and you're going to pull it down and that's gonna pop through there and right here there's a bar and it's got a little hook on it and you're gonna hook the thread or just behind that and hold this other thread now right here in the eye of the needle there is a little tiny hook that you are going to put the thread sorry for bumping the camera I'll let it stop for a second you're gonna put the um, needle right you're gonna put the thread right behind that little hook too then you're gonna let go and it's gonna pull your thread right through see there's that loop right there and you just pull it on through oh, sorry guys it's really hard not to bump the camera when I'm this close to it all and then okay see I've got this all messed up you want to make sure when you're threading that you've got your thread going all the right ways otherwise human error occurs and um, that's what I was doing a couple weeks ago when I was trying to use my machine as it was all human error I didn't thread the machine properly I also had wound my bobbin <laughs> upside down without the words facing up and that'll cause the um the thread not to um go onto the bobbin correctly and cause it to get all bunched up and look all weird on the bobbin and so um, you want to make sure that you have your words facing up when you wind your bobbins also you want your words facing out when you put it into the bobbin the metal bobbin case before putting it into the machine and I'll also show you here in a second how you are supposed to do that as well.